we'd like to introduce you to one of our associates. Um, a little bit of preamble. Back in the 1990s, a lot of government competitions had very significant elements of the competition was a demonstration and orals, but really a demonstration for right. the show. Some of you might remember Thad uh, back in the 1990s in the atrium building in Sunnyvale at Lockheed Martin. That, that the parts of that time was Lockheed, but uh, there, that's where all the Thad uh, missile system demonstrations had. Was, uh, lots and lots of effort and money went into those demonstrations as part of the effort to, to win the program and to keep the program sold. Uh, we've seen, uh, Jacques, a resurgence we have. Of, of demos, videos, orals just recently yep. in this year alone that we've been asked to help with. So in that, in that respect, I'd like to introduce you to, uh, to Luis Estrada. He's an Emmy-winning uh, film director and an associ SMA associate. And he came to us organically through Todd. He did. But yes, I mean, it, it's in, which is incredible. He did. Uh, Luis, um, hello, and over to you. Hi, how are you? Uh, Sarah, thank you once again for a wonderful presentation. Look forward to those every week. And uh, how appropriate that I'm Mexican, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so fits right in with the theme. But yes, I actually work, uh, uh, I've been in the business just a little bit about, of obviously kind of see uh, UAM. I've been in the business uh, 40 years this year. Uh, I worked uh, not only in Los Angeles, uh, but all over the country. Uh, started off in the TV business, in the production business, doing game show networks, uh, then went on to uh, work at Paramount Pictures, where I worked on about 24 pictures at the time in the 80s. I uh, was on staff. That's why I was able to work for so many pictures at the same time. And uh, after that, I worked for Telemundo in Los Angeles and then worked for USIA, uh, Turner Broadcasting, that uh, we launched TNT International and Cartoon Network International. And then uh, onto, uh, uh, we launched uh, through an agency in Los Angeles uh, that we had uh, CBS and we had uh, CBS News was one of our clients, but we also had Direct TV. So I worked a lot in Latin America, produced a lot in Latin America, some in Europe. So anyway, that's kind of my background. And uh, one of the things that we, we talk about is in the process of producing a video or telling a story, if you will, uh, one of the best advice that uh, we've ever gotten, or I've gotten, I'm sure a lot of people have gotten, is from the, the uh, late uh, executive producer of 60 Minutes. Mm -hmm. One thing he said that always stuck in my mind years ago, he, he always gave you five words of advice, which was always tell a good story. <laughs> All right. That's what, uh, you know what, and, and it, it resonates on everything you do, most certainly everything that I do, uh, because the technology changes so much. I mean, quite frankly, I mean, you're, your phone right now is a better quality than the film and um, and uh, equipment we were using just you know 20 years ago. Hmm. So you know I went through the film. So film you know has a great look, and uh, but it's a very difficult medium to work in because it's very manual, right? And then little by little technology caught up, and now most of TV shows, most films are actually done on digital now, so it makes it a little easier to tell the story. Uh, but the key thing, and today we're going to kind of go through the three pieces of it, which is the pre-production, the production, which is the single most uh, time, well, not time consuming, but very expensive piece of it, and then the post-production to tell the story. The process is pretty much the same as we go along. You could do a huge motion picture, or you could do a small video, uh, but basically what you're doing is telling that story in a way, using the resources you have uh, in a way that... Um, you know, that is most impactful. So just to kind of give you through the process, what we were talking about today, um, uh, let's see if we have, I think we have a PowerPoint, right? That we're gonna share. Uh, there we go. Okay, so the production process. So basically this is a very, you know, just in a few minutes, give you an idea of what it takes to do any kind of motion <laughs> picture project. Hmm. Uh, and so the first one is, these are the three basic things, right? Pre-production. Pre-production to me is the most important thing we can do. Why? Because it really affects everything else after that. So number one, you need a story, right? You need, what, what are you gonna tell? Um, you need to do the budgets, you need to uh, do the storyboarding. Uh, in this case, they say beat sheet, but it's really a breakdown of the script, uh, the scripting, the casting, location, crew, all these kinds of things you need to keep in mind when you're budgeting and scheduling whatever project you're doing uh, because again, it's based on that story that you're trying to tell. The production piece is the most important because here, if you've done everything correctly in pre-production, all your scheduling and all your crew, your talent, you got a tight script, 
a great talent to tell the story and then into the production, uh, then a lot of it then becomes a little more technical. The equipment set up, the lighting, the, and then obviously we're gonna be shooting. Uh, you know, you, are you gonna do a one camera shoot? You're gonna do a 14 camera shoot. Uh, and we've done both, right? We've we done, um, we actually did uh, the original Latin Kings of Comedy, if you look that up, mm. uh, George Lopez and Chich Marin and all these folks we did out of uh, El Paso years ago, but that was a 14 camera HD shoot when HD was still relatively new. But then once you have, once you've acquired all of that footage, then to tell your story is in post-production, the editing, right? So you gotta go through uh, all of the footage that you've shot, you know, look at your script, look at all the changes. There might've been a lot of changes during production. You might've had some brainstorms that things change and hopefully you've made all those notes. You go into post-production and really post-production in a lot of ways and a lot of people, especially in the film business field, that's really where your story comes together. Uh, to give you a quick, uh, quick idea, there was a story uh, that Steven Spielberg did. It was starting his career and he did Jaws. That movie was a, des a disaster. You know, they, they, they went to shoot it on the East Coast and they were actually shooting on practical location. Everything wasn't working. They went like, I think, double the budget. Well, it really came together with one five minute segment. And if you remember the movie, uh, Robert Shaw uh, kind of played that kind of old, you know, uh, uh, shark, shark expert, if you will, he gave a speech. When he gave that speech or he gave, or they were actually just uh, with Rich Dreyfuss and then we're just sitting around drinking and he kind of told the story of the shark and the beast and all these things. That's when the story came together. That's what mm -hmm. made the movie. So those five minutes, when they thought they had a disaster on their hands, all of a sudden brought it all together. So that's why it's so important that the story be developed. Uh, to give you a little more of an extension, if we go to the next slide, if we go, uh, this is an example then of taking those three basics, but applying it more to a commercial. So this is for a commercial, it's an agency out of Iowa that does this, I borrowed their graphic, I thought it was great. Uh, and again, same thing, but here it's a little more strategic. So first you gotta go, what to go? What is it you're trying to accomplish? What's, cause there's the story that you have, but what are you trying to accomplish? What is it you want people to, to know about your product, about your service, about yourself, you know? And so that's really key to developing then the story, the script and these other areas. And, and it, it could be even key to who you actually have in the, um, in the cast as well. Uh, like we did a, a movie that you can see kind of back there, one of my, movies that, uh, that I worked on at Paramount was The Untouchables. And I remember uh, the director and the producers and, and the studio were talking about who should play, you know, uh, Al Capone. And the one guy that everybody wanted was Robert De Niro. And Robert De Niro was not available. So they had to completely redo all of the scheduling of the movie, you know, because he had a week and a half window to shoot. And that was it. And so, Everything else got turned around to make sure that it would accommodate uh, Robert De Niro's uh, one, a week and a half. The other thing he also asked for, though, which was quite interesting, is that, uh, is that he said, to get into character, to understand this character that I'm playing, I need to go to Italy and eat a lot of pasta and gain about 25 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, uh, if you watch the movie, you'll see that it is, it is heavier than usual. Uh, other roles but in scripting the same thing uh we had, need a tight script to make sure that the creative that what the client needs with the story they want to tell tell it in an impactful way in the most impactful way so the scripting is important logistics then which means okay we need locations we need you know uh like and, and that's what i was talking about like with robert De Niro. it's all of a sudden uh one thing but it's so critical to the project that you, what, what you wanna do is, is uh, change the logistics to make sure filming again, step five as it goes here. I tell you, it, it, that is the single most expensive time you can have. And ironically enough, if you ever go on a, on a TV set or a movie set, there is a lot of downtime. Uh, so as a producer that sometimes you're going like, hey, we come on, let's, let's get going because every, every, you, you have equipment, you have crew, you have everybody sitting around uh, you know, waiting for the next, uh, uh, you know, waiting for the next scene to go off to make sure the director's moving forward. A quick story there, we were doing Beverly Hills Cop 2, and um, 
And we, we actually, after we finished the movie, the auditors at Paramount said, hey, you know, you know why'd you go out and spend $2,000 on this dress during, you know, on the, during the filming? And um, we said, okay, well, here's your choice. You know, oh, cause they said you needed to get three bids and you need to go different places. And said, okay, so let's say that takes, you know, two or three hours to do that. But we explained to them that we had 150 people on a crew sitting in downtown Los Angeles uh, shooting, shooting around this dress that where we needed the dress. Uh, and so we didn't really have time to go shopping. <laughs> we just needed to get the dress that the director wanted, get it on the actress and move forward. Huh? Otherwise that dress was going to cost you probably closer to 50 or $75,000. <laughs> so those are the kind of things that get as a producer, as a production manager, as a director, you, you really got a, a filming is really, really <laughs> can be quite a headache, but it's also the most fun. Gotta say. Uh, we go back to editing. Uh, we talked about that as well. So same thing, any project, big or small, commercial, TV show, film, anything like that, any presentation, corporate presentations. I've also done a lot of uh, uh, corporate presentations. Also, I've done a lot of the, the, the uh, uh, training videos, do a lot of cyber training videos. And, and why is a producer that's worked in you know, all these, because it pays the bills. So end of the day, corporate is a great business and it's also a great chance to tell an interesting stories because what you find out is that there's a lot of really interesting stories that uh, may not be for a commercial audience, but for the audience that it's intended, it's really, really interesting. So that's why it's also really important that as we work with corporate clients and training, those kind of things that we really kind of find that, um, you know, that way to tell that story that's the most impactful. impactful. And at the end, the final step is actually getting it approved, right? Getting, if it's in this case, uh, there, you know, if there's clients involved, uh, it's not, I used to do uh, or still do sometimes some commercials out in Mexico and, you know, different areas. And I work with an agency out of Dallas. I remember sitting uh, more than once, sitting on a shoot where our client, which is usually, you know, an AE or, you know, the creative kind of folks, but they decide that one day, you know, the client's coming, the agency's coming, so it was not unusual to be sitting there watching the shoot and directing a shoot with 20 people behind you. And each one has an opinion. <laughs> this is a 30 second spot. Right? So, you know, if you give, you know, so the, so it sometimes can be nerve wracking. It's, it's fun, but you kind of get through it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, diplomacy involved in that kind of production as well, but that's, that's okay. Cause they see the story in a certain way. Uh, and that's the way that, that uh, you know, that it kind of works and, and that we work in that. Now, what I like to do is show you two, two videos. This is, this is from a company I used to run in, in, in Texas called Studios 121. We've had, that's actually been sold off. I think it's called the Country Network now. But this facility was 43,000 square feet. We had satellite. We had three studios. Uh, we had editing and graphics and distribution. And so we did TV shows. We did commercials. We did websites, all these different things. So you'll see that. So um, the this uh, we'll play the first two segments. The first segment's about a minute and a half. Second segment's about two minutes. And what it is is the first segment is just the demo reel for Studios 121 and ES Creative Gang, which is my company now that I've had. So uh, basically, when you look at it, you'll see a lot of the process that we've been talking about. Yeah, you'll see people behind the scenes. You'll see the studio. You'll see you know kind of people milling around. So that kind of gives you an idea, kind of a behind the scenes look at uh, what it looks like to, to, do, uh, to do production, right? The second one is actually a client we had about eight years ago uh, that I thought was appropriate uh, for this venue as well, which uh, it was a, a client that uh, you know, had a certain product, certain plane. And uh, so when we sat down and started to do the creative, the idea that came out is, you know, because they really wanted to make an impact. So they, they were selling this at, uh, uh, at a, uh, at a, a it's called Riyadh, so I guess it was kind of a convention. All these folks go to buy these, these types of products. You know, most of us don't use those, but, and, <laughs> you know, or have a need for one. Maybe we do. <laughs> We're thankful they're there probably. <laughs> and, um, but anyway, so this, this client was a wonderful client and, and, you know, they were kind of thinking of a kind of pretty normal corporate presentation, but was, we asked them, well, what's your purpose? What is it you want to do? But we want to make an impact. You know, we want to go in and we want to, you know, really, you know, show them our product. We're excited. We're passionate. And you'll see that in the guys that are there. Um, 
these the guys that talk are, are very you know high level folks. So one of them I think was the the former pilot for uh, George W. Bush, and so the, uh, these guys know what they're doing. And I think this is the type of folks that we probably kind of uh, deal with a lot in the in this SMA business, and so we did we did kind of kind of pitch them on the idea. Hey, why don't we do a movie trailer? Uh, because yeah. we're used to that. I think it's exciting, and then we can tell your story and your words, but you know, uh, see, it get people excited. So this was actually part of, uh, this is, a, I think this one is about a minute and a half, uh, but there was an up to 12 minute video that was done. So there was a, a two minute, a four minute, an eight minute, and then a 12 minute. Uh, and again, those were for different venues that they had at their, you know, at their booth and, or wherever it is that were presenting private screenings and this kind of thing. So why don't we do that? The first part is behind the scenes. Second one is actually a client or something we produced. Integration Division sets the standard in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance systems, payloads, and services for a global market. And they're raising the bar again with the latest leading-edge solution. L3 is the leader in the industry. Spider provides game-changing technologies. In a world where the enemy is nimble and adaptive, today's ISR mission system capabilities must be flexible and reliable. Spider is flexible. Spider is a lifesaver. Guarantee you, your adversaries do not want you to have it. Tailored to fit your needs any place, any time. Spider casts an inescapable web of technology that captures and delivers actionable intelligence in real time. You can run, but you can't hide. You can't escape it. You cannot escape the web of the spider. Spider can see, spider can hear, and spider can fly. It's about affordable solutions. It's about proven and agile performance. It's about your needs now in the field. When lives are on the line, you want the best, and the best is L3 and Spider. It's about time. Anyway, there you go. And yes, I saw in the chat, we had to get that line in. In the world, we had to get it in. It was a movie trailer. <laughs> anyway, so uh, uh, anyway, that's what that's what I do, and and hopefully get to work with uh, uh, you guys on a lot of different uh, interesting projects. So that's fantastic, uh, Louise. That really incredible. is. Yeah, I, I, the one thing I really came away from this is uh, a couple things. One is there's a, looks like there's as much creativity in the post production as there is before that, oh, right? Absolutely. In terms of telling the story, and and wow, I mean, even very powerful, I think, storytelling movie techniques um, can be used for, 
you know, really kind of defense systems, <laughs> L3, what we might otherwise consider as boring things to, to try to sell <laughs> and market. Right. Well, you know, and Luis was talking about the project management before, yeah. right? I mean, you know, it's, it, it, these things take, these types of productions yeah. take a lot of uh, organization and, and management, which is, which is really interesting, yeah. as well as creativity. Right. And so Luis has been helping us on some prime projects. Uh, he's also going to be helping us on an internal corporate video as well. You know, we yeah. should bring Luis, uh, you know, up and and uh, if you if if we could uh, spotlight him, yeah, spotlight okay. him with you know, add him to the spotlight. Um, Luis, I got a question for you. So I noticed that off your left shoulder, you got the boys behind you, the uh, boys oh, in the band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there I mean, a story behind that, or are you just a Beatles fan? <laughs> uh, no, no, just a Beatles fan. Uh, you know, and then over here, there's another one. I don't know if you can see there, but that's all the gangsters there. You know. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's fantastic. Father and Sopranos and all these good guys. And, yep. yep. And this is actually the office. If we go over to the den where I spend uh, uh -huh. a lot of creative time, there's there's movie posters all over. And um, and actually, I just finished uh, a movie. Uh, it took quite a while to put it together, but I did an experiment with a movie that I produced, directed, and wrote and shot in Mexico. Oh. And one version in English. But with the same cast, had a, a re a reshot it in Spanish. Oh wow, <laughs> cool! That's awesome. Cool, cool. That's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Luis and Bob Shop and I are actually looking very much forward to working with you on this corporate video that we've been talking about. Yeah. And and you've been doing a great job on the client work. We've got some direct feedback, so thank you. And Luis, we would love to have you come live to our studio, so you can actually help give us some tips. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, gosh, you know, and, and we, we, you know. We, 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 I'm good. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Luis. That's fantastic. 